Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll see uh, web scrapping using a chat GPT. So I have opened the one uh, one side here called Geeks for Geeks, and in the Geeks for Geeks, I went to array section. So here you can see the link. I'll just copy this link, and over here I'll go here, uh, and I'll just write it down like web scrap using. Oh, uh, and I'll write down the link using uh, Python because. I want to use language Python. You can use any language you want to, uh, because I have a, a knowledge of a Python, so I am using this one. And a beautiful soup, and a beautiful soup. Beautiful soup is a uh, library used for web scrapping. So I'll just let's see uh, what ChatGPT do for us. Means, what can it do? I will see here or here. So it started generating the code. And I don't know why it is taking a time. Sometimes it take time. Sometimes it don't. Let's see what. So, ah, oh, I'll see. Let's let's wait for uh, around thirty second. Uh, I don't know why it is. Oh, it started. Sometimes it take time because uh, there is a. Uh, Use traffic over the ChatGPT, and you can see here it is started generating a code. Uh, for if if you uh, if you go by manually means uh, in the previous previous section I have done the manual manual like generating a code by myself. This is the ChatGPT. You can see here it is using the URL I put put on because you don't you don't even need to put. Uh, uh, URL section, so it is taking URL by. So it use the beautiful soup and request for uh, web scrapping. Let's see what we all all got. So I'll just copy this one code, and we'll see the next one. First of all, I'll copy and paste over here, and this this is what we get. We get nothing from here. I'll copy this one because if I copy this code, I will get all the all the all the h uh, h two headings in the page. Hopefully, if I write here heading, okay, uh, I'm getting all the headings like table uh, table table of contain. What is the array? If I write it down over here, uh, one h one. So I'll get all the h ones in the uh, in the uh, web so you can see here I, i'm getting the class class name so over here you can do more thing if you write it down find all link link in it so it will find all the links in the in the page that we have taken the url so let's wait and hope for uh, we'll get all the links in this page uh in the in this pre Pre previous section uh, or we copy we got got all the h h2 heading even though you can change here and we'll get a uh, heading like he if h5 is there we get h5 there is no h5 uh, as a string will try with h3 and here you can see the whatever the h3 we are getting over here so you, you just need to okay it started generating we'll see we'll ge get or uh, the links in the page will wait for uh, will wait till it generate all the code so it just write a i'll copy this code and wait for till it generate all the codes it is uh, it is using the for loop to get all the links in this uh, in the in the page so just wait uh, so i will uh, just print this code Okay, uh, and I'll go over here and just copy this one code. So we'll uh, we are using the for loop to get all the here. You can see all the links in the in that page. We'll get getting over here. So this is how you can scrap the data by using the Chat GPT. This is very useful to scrap the data and many more things we can do by using this. So thank you for watching this video and uh, like. Share and subscribe with your friends. And if you uh, if you have any doubt, just comment it below.
thanks 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 for watching this video so i'll go over here just 